Hello there, it's me again. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to fix the issue with Neto. Um, this version uh, telling you that its vision has been blocked or simply you know stopping in the middle of cleaning or not starting. Uh, I've posted a couple of videos and uh, actually none of them at the end of the day fixed the issue. I've managed to replace the bearing or replace the engine of the of this laser here but it didn't help so actually what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna give you some tip how I've managed to fix it I hope it's gonna work for you as well uh, because it did for me um, yeah so let's get this started we're gonna kick off from the from the very beginning so we're gonna clean the laser laser you know um, eye over here it won't help so you know already that you know the manual that vendor provides is giving you nothing but let's get it off using this one so I'm not gonna record it in effect so do it on your own get this tip that you use to clean your uh, inside of your ear and then just clean it and rotate it a couple of times to the left couple of times to the right but the magic is gonna happen when we connect it to the PC uh, which I'm gonna do in a couple of seconds so this is the um, as we are here these are the robots that I currently have in my home uh, or I just bought in years back so this is the oldest one it's been working for years the biggest problem over here was uh, except for the missing battery that the wheel was taking a lot of hair and derbies over here so it ended up um, you know totally destroying those small pieces over here wheels, gears, whatever you call it and it also had the issue with battery if you left it you know uncharged for half a day the battery depleted like in 30 or 40 percent a really good soldier um, I just use it for for my garage cleaning right now <laughs> but it's he's still with me uh, the second thing is the scuba so the one that was supposed to clean the you know clean your house I mean wash your floor nah, when you were away this is a total waste of money it never really worked I bought it uh, I bought it as used one replace the battery, replace the battery for original, then for a, uh, like, like a different one, it didn't help, it has been in in service, they fixed it, but it stopped working after half a year, so waste of money for you guys. Um, the one that we have over here, if you are planning to buy this one, do not, uh, there are a couple of new ones from Nito, uh, like this one, so this one came when I, when I, when I wrote an email to Nito, they, they replaced that the old one with the white one uh, leaving me this black one so I I had a, you know if it's broken then I I did everything that I could just bring it alive I couldn't believe that you know if something's working one day it won't work the other day especially that it has been taken care of in a really really good way um, by my family I mean they, we treat it quite well um, the biggest issue with the white one is you know you can see that the, um, yeah, the vendor is gonna tell you that it won't fall off the stairs uh, it did so basically it was approaching the, the, the stairs then decided to turn back but it hit wall at some point in time so it decided to reverse so when it reversed it reversed through the I mean on stairs and fell down so what I'm gonna post in a couple of next weeks is um, how to fix this one it doesn't work when it fell down it flew like two meters down so it's really in perfect shape after f flying down. Um, this one, I mean, the distance distance from the ground is broken. I mean, it's it fell in, so it's working, but it's not in position as it should be. This is completely not working. So if it's cleaning, then it doesn't move. The the rest of the robot is working fine, except for the display. I mean, if if I press this button, yeah, it sometimes takes ten seconds for the for for it to the the. Uh, to show the screen over here and those small LEDs here you know around this one they doesn't work so yeah I will see it in the next post of my video iRobot Roomba uh, 580 uh, perfect shape in perfect shape I mean uh, yeah I would recommend this one if you clean it regularly and, and do as, as they say yeah, look at this it's uh, three or four years now we just bought it when it came out on a, you know, on a, was available in the market. It's dirty, but it's nothing there. The only thing that I did is I just left it unplugged for holiday season. So what I'm doing right now 
is um, basically I'm gonna buy the new one. It costs around 70, 70 euros here in Poland, the battery. So it's it's quite okay. You can buy it and, and keep it. For those who have iRobots, remember that this this front wheel it should it should spin the way it, it, it does on over here. So perfectly. So what you need to do is just try make sure that this part is cleaned. Use whatever you you need just to get rid of hairs and everything from this part. So it should spin freely. Yeah, it does, and also rotate perfectly. And of course, you know everything here should be should be done as it is. Um, the last, not to so before we go to the you know fix. Now this is a Samsung that I got. Um, it is a really nice piece. They use to the you know to brushes on sides. Um, the brush at, at, at the back is is quite I would say small, but it does its job. It is very silent. So if you think about if you think about um, Running this overnight when everyone's sleeping and you're like sleeping on the first floor and you can run and do its job on a, on a the base um, floor. It is perfect. It won't clean as much as, as the others, the other guys, because its suction power is um, much less than, than the, and the, other, the other robots. But still, it is very silent. The biggest disadvantage of this one is that if you... Uh, it doesn't have a scheduler built in, so all you have on your site is a, is a remote control that you can press a couple of times and say delay one hour, two hours, three hours, up to a couple of hours. So you have to manually delay it every night, I mean before every night. This is a big disadvantage, but still. It uses this magic camera just to, just to wander around your house. Uh, some of my say, you know, it's not working the way it should as, as the real sensors. It's not true. It's working perfectly. It's it's taking its time. It's it's doing very um, brilliant. I mean, brilliant maintenance job. Um, it has a lot of those, you know, small. I'd say I mean big and small sensors around, and, and you know, and it's. I really like it. I mean, I really like this this robot because, as you can hear, it's ultra, ultra. Yeah, stop it. It's ultra silent. Okay, back to the manual on how to fix the um. Nito, uh, yeah, stay in tune. I'll be, uh, I'll just move around, just connect a couple of cables over here. I'll show you everything here, but I uh, need to stand up and just relax for a while. Thanks. Here we go. Here's our precious, the one that we spent a lot of money for. Uh, if you look back, there is a USB oh, over here. It can be somehow hidden behind it, uh, the rubber or something like this. Just use it and plug it to your PC. Because the software that we're going to use, just bear with me a second, one second, I'm missing one hand. Um, yeah, the PC, I mean, the software we're going to use is a PC software. I haven't found any, any software that's dedicated for Mac, etc. So, sorry guys, uh, someone did a software for PC and just to test it. Uh, we're not gonna test it. We're gonna run only one thing over here. that will give you uh, an update What's going on with this laser stuff? So I'm placing it on the floor um, It's good sometimes to place it upside down because if for unknown reason it's gonna start You know cleaning and I had it a couple of times it will not you know break off your USB from From the PC or from the from the robot itself. So now we're going now nah, We're interested in this part now we're going to, uh, to the tool that is called Nito Control. I'm using version 2.6. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit the connect button over here. Where is my mouse? Here I go. Connect button. Yeah, here we go. It is connected. Before you connect your, I mean, if you connect your uh, iRobot to the PC, it will probably gonna be found as unknown device. All you need to do is go through the driver installation. I'll post the all information under you know the video. And what you need to do, guys, you wanna if you want to play, you know, um, yeah, that's fine. There's uh, some sensors. Uh, it's okay if you like. Press one of the one of the sensors. You can see it's changing here. I just press its side side sensor. Yeah, it makes no no sense just to play here. And here is the scanner. 
the thing that is causing us the mo so much problem. All you need to do, do is press scan LDS here, and it will do. It should it should draw the room around you. As you can see, it draws whatever it wants. But the the thing is that if it's in this mode, scan LDS, right? Yeah, I'm trying to show you. Alrighty. So if it's in this scan LDS mode, look at look at here. If I pick it up, you can see. Can you? Yeah, that the turret is rotating. Yeah. So what I'm actually gonna do right now, I will leave it like this until the battery dies, or it's like until it's gonna take um hours until the, you know turret. Because what what my belief is that listen, I've replaced the bearing, I've replaced the motor. A laser seems to be you know, working fine, everything is clean. The only thing that I did not replace is you know, the laser itself, but I'm not gonna do it right away. I'm gonna play it probably and replace it at the end of the day if it doesn't, uh, doesn't fix the issue. But I run this test for, I mean, I have turned on this uh, scan LDS mode for hours until the battery died. And after I recharge and uh, you know, uh, connected it, uh, I started the, the cleaning program, it started working again i'm using it for two weeks now and it's cleaning my rooms without any issues so my original idea is that i mean uh, my feeling is that the dirt came into the bearing or the dirt you know because we're not we were not using i mean i was not using it for a couple of days it wasn't set on schedule at some point in time the dirt came somewhere you know went somewhere into the uh into the motor or whatever and it had hard times to provide the number of RPMs it requires. So if you leave it for hours or for you know dozens of minutes running like this and you repeat it a couple of times, it's gonna clean itself inside or at least it's gonna oil itself inside in a way that you can, uh, that you can uh, later on use it freely. So I'm leaving it right now for, the, you know, for this video purposes. I did it previously and it's working fine. Uh, it's like that. I'll, I'll just look, I'll just look, you know, let's look at the other side. It shows nothing, or, it, or at the end of the day it can say connected to USB, remove USB before uh, running. Um, let me see if I can show you again if it's... Yeah, you can see spinning. And leave it like this. Leave it like this. Let me know, post your comments. Uh, the additional thing that I did after, you know, after a couple of hours and, uh, and recharging it, I pressed this, uh, the start button, I mean on the robot itself, I need to reset, sorry, I just need it. the start button for 30 seconds, so it resets itself. So what did reset it? So what did reset it? Uh, the LCD goes like loading again, and it's working flawlessly now, so no issues at all. Uh, probably if I if I come to an issue again, I'll leave it again for this you know process of LDS scan, and then uh, it should be all should be good. Um, I hope so. So guys, uh, give me an update. Uh, see, it rose my room, but it, it took him a while. So give me an update. Um, and uh, if it's not working on your side, of it or if it worked, then perfect. If it not worked, uh, let me know. I'll try to replace the laser this time. And, uh, and see how it goes. Um, yeah, uh, I keep my fingers crossed. Before you do it, ensure that you you know manually use the QT or whatever this, this this device just to manually rotate the turret left and right, left and right, so it does not end up you know living like this, uh, living the robot like this without without um, checking this first. Um, have a great day. Stay tuned. I've got a couple of, couple of videos in in my mind just to. Um, just to post and, and share, but not that much of a time. Uh, thank you again, guys, and um, talk to you next time. Bye.